Hello, welcome to my virtual tour of my newly organized sheet music library. Now behind me, you'll see mesh magazine holders. And if I purchase a lot of books from the same composer, they earn their own magazine holder. And I have these in alphabetical order. This is new to me. I made these labels for, uh, with Avery labels. These are just address labels. And let me see, they are number 5160. And then on to this area where these are all series of classical music. I use a lot of Keith Snell's graded repertoire. And so I've got a couple of bins for that. Bradley Sowash in recital books. I love those. And then over here is something new. Uh, I have now reorganized all of my supplementary material into different levels and some of them even earn two magazine holders. Now, big secret here, none of these are alphabetized. That would be something for a later date. And then I've got technique and scales, history. I've got one empty there. That's always a beautiful thing. And then one of the things that I've had to think about is how I can add uh, and remember things that I uh, purchased uh, and download and print. So this is a bin for Sam Coates in her rote repertoire. And so what I'm doing, I had all of this in a binder and I didn't like it. I couldn't find things as, as well as I'd like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've got plenty of these type of file folders and I'm going to organize her, uh, library into uh, these file folders and uh, of course I'm going to make little labels like level one those kind of things and okay oh I want to show you over here I've got some new things I did three different levels of pop music right here I did a ragtime and a Halloween I'm going to really be liking those categories and then when I open this door over here uh, this is my bathroom Shh. This used to be a shower, now it's all shelves. And here is all my sacred music. Now most of this I have scanned and put into four score. So I organize my music that way, but I still love these just in case I'm looking for something in particular. Then I've got lots of different books here and I've got a couple of different items that I need to store in binders. So I always buy white binders and I've got to go through these I, and I want to label those yet. And then I've got uh, different reference books, especially anything about creativity is all right here. Oh, here's my podcasting station, which I haven't used for a while. Stay tuned. There's one coming. Not right away, but it'll be here pretty soon. Now, one thing I did this summer also is I got out every single thing of cards that I own. Flash cards, games, you name it. And I put them all here. I don't know if I'm going to keep them here or not, but there was something about just seeing what I all had that made me, I don't know, reignite my passion for some of them. So I think that's not a bad idea is just to collect maybe something, uh, you know, every game or whatever. Now, I have not showed you uh, my bins with all my manipulatives. Stay tuned. That's for another time and place. But hopefully this may inspire you. I also really like something like this where I can just store some things that I just don't know where to go with yet, but there's, they still have a place. So uh, that is my studio. Now you're in my studio bathroom and I'll take you back out here. And I hope you've enjoyed this. A couple other things that maybe you might like is see how I store my paper for my printer. I really like that. And oh, this is how I store. Similarly, I store my iPads on something like that as well. And then they charge right there. So hopefully that inspires you to get organized. And I am here to support you. This is one of my favorite things to do. Okay. Happy organizing.